Did you know that the Australian government has recently introduced significant changes to the work and holiday subclass 462 visa? The work and holiday visa program has long been a sought after chance for immigrants who want to easily migrate to Australia. A major change is being implemented by the Australian government for the 2024-25 program year. This video explores the details of the recently implemented pre-application system, its consequences for prospective migrants, and the possible advantages for an easier application process. The Australia Department of Home Affairs will introduce a visa pre-application or ballot procedure for the work and holiday visa program beginning with the 2024-25 fiscal year. This procedure is intended to expedite application processing times and efficiently handle the high demand from the targeted nations. Details of the ballot process. There was a time when the work and holiday visa application procedure was first come, first served. However, applications from a few countries have increased recently, surpassing the limit allotted for these countries. This excessive demand has made it difficult to manage the application process and guarantee equity for all candidates. A ballot process will be required of applicants from these countries who wish to apply for the work and holiday visa. When casting a ballot, voters must pay a $25 non-refundable fee, which will increase each year in accordance with the Consumer Price Index. This charge is a component of the government's plan to control the volume of applications and guarantee a fair selection procedure. By limiting the number of applications and guaranteeing that only applicants who are really interested apply, the ballot method aims to establish a more manageable and orderly application procedure, therefore decreasing needless workload and improving processing times. Benefits of the ballot system The following benefits are expected from the Work and Holiday Visa Program's ballot system. 1. Fairness This approach ensures that everyone has an equal chance to participate by doing away with the first-come, first-served component. Regardless of when you register within the designated window, everyone has an equal chance of being selected through the random draw. 2. Increased efficiency. By limiting the number of applications received up front through the ballot, the Department of Home Affairs anticipates that processing times for successful candidates may reduce. This might lead to quicker visa decisions, allowing individuals more time to securely arrange their travel to Australia. 3. Transparency. Applicants may expect transparency from the well-defined and transparent selection process. They are aware of all the procedures, such as the time for registration, the method of selection, and the notification protocols. Also, anxiety for people navigating the application procedure may be reduced by this clarity. How do you apply? The ballot process will consist of three easy steps, namely, one, Registration period. Candidates from the qualifying countries who want to take part in the work and holiday program can register for the ballot within a certain period of time, which will be stated by the Department of Home Affairs. 2. Selection process. From the group of registered applicants, the Department of Home Affairs will choose a candidate at random. This guarantees that all applicants, regardless of when they indicate their interest, have an equal opportunity of being selected. Additionally, this procedure protects against surpassing the quota allotted to each country which prevents an application backlog. 3. Invitation to apply. Only applicants who are lucky enough to be chosen via the ballot process will be invited to formally apply for a work and holiday visa. Important points to remember. The precise dates of the registration window are still pending confirmation. Therefore, prospective candidates are advised to keep an eye on the Department of Home Affairs website for developments. It is crucial to remember that only new applicants from China, Vietnam, and India for work and holiday subclass 462 visas are eligible for this pre-application procedure. Those from other partner nations and those looking to apply for a second work and holiday visa will keep using the current application procedure. 
Even before their official application is taken into consideration, prospective applicants need to make sure they understand the financial commitment needed and carefully plan when to submit their application. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.